Welcome back, dear friends, to our sixth episode of Crimson Academy Junior! Junior! That's right, dear friends. We are on our sixth episode of Crimson Academy Junior. Before we get into our program, we will first start off with a prayer. O oh God, refresh and gladden my spirit. Purify my heart. Illumine my powers. I lay all my affairs in thy hand. Thou art my guide and my refuge. I will no longer be sorrowful and grieved. I will be a happy and joyful being. O oh God, I will no longer be full of anxiety, nor will I let trouble harass me. I will not dwell on the unpleasant things of life. O oh God, Thou art more friend to me than I am to myself, I dedicate myself to Thee. O Lord, Abdul Baha. Thank you very much. That was lovely. Excellent, dear friends. Thank you for joining us on our sixth episode of Crimson Academy Junior. And today, dear friends, our Virtue of the Week. Ella, do you remember what our virtue of the week was last week? Uh-huh. You do? What was it? It was courage. Courage! Dear friends, has everyone been practicing courage? Yes, it was courage. And what does courage mean? Courage means like even though you're scared or it's too hard, keep, keep doing it. Like keep at it. Like, 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 the, like the other week we did perseverance. It's just like perseverance. Very nice. That's right, Ella. So, this is courage. Um, courage is where you are brave, you face your fears, and you go at it. Now, this week, dear friends, our virtue of the week is patience. Now, this is an incredible virtue. Uh -huh. so, so, like, I have, I have, like, a like a very good example of it. So like if I'm waiting mm. in the doctor's office and, and it's crowded in the doctor's office and and, and, and it's not my turn yet and, and I'm the last one to I, I don't say when is my turn? When am I doing this? <laughs> not fair. All, all you do is just sit sit down and wait until you, it's your turn. Right, I'm sure every one of you have experienced uh that type of um, upsetness and um, at a doctor's office or dental office and so we have to have patience and so in the writings His, uh, His Holiness Baha'u'llah um, talks about the importance of patience and this is our virtue of the week so this is from His Holiness Baha'u'llah and this is from the Most Holy Book, the Kitab Ahdas, and this is on page 210. His Holiness Baha'u'llah defines the course that is praiseworthy as the exercise of patience. Now, it's so interesting, dear friends. What does that, that mean? Yes, let's talk about it. He says, the course that is praiseworthy. Praiseworthy is, means that it is, it's good for you. Okay? He says it is good for you. Praiseworthy means it is worthy of having a reward. Okay? He says that it is good for you. And he uses the word exercise of patience. So exercise, like when we're exercising, we have to keep at it, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to keep at also being patient and practice, dear friends. And this is also from the Kitab Ahdas. He says, God Verily loveth, loveth these women and men who show forth patience. He loveth them who show forth patience. Right? Mm -hmm. So, and dear friends, I will share just one more quote. Let me pull this one for you, dear friends. And this is from His Holiness Abdu'l-Baha. 
This is from Star of the West, page 141. Okay? This is from the fifth volume of Star of the West, page 141. Abdul Baha speaking. He says, have patience, have patience. Wait, but do not sit idle. What does idle mean? Uh, what does idle mean? It means just being lazy. Idle means not doing anything. Okay? He says, have patience. Wait, but do not sit idle. Work while you are waiting. Smile while you are wearied with monotony. Be firm while everything around you is being shaken. Be joyous while the ugly face of despair grins at you. Speak aloud while the malevolent forces of the netherworld try to crush your mind. Be valiant and courageous while men all around you are cringing with fear and cowardice. Do not yield to the overwhelming power of tyranny and despotism. Continue your journey to the end. The bright day is coming. Now you can see the wonderful parallels in this to our dear friends in the cradle of the faith. How we t Abdul Baha talks, have faith, have patience, dear friends. Wait, but do not sit idly. And we know our dear friends in the cradle of the faith, in the, our mother country, are working hard and, and sacrificing. And dear friends, as we are in all these wonderful countries around the world, and as we are in this great country of the United States of America, we have to work hard, teach the faith, serve, and serve sacrificially in, our, in the name of His Holiness Baha'u'llah. Right, Ella? Mm -hmm. That's right. As he says, he says, have patience. And dear friends, patience is not only, as our dear Ella said, you know, at the you know, doctor's office. Patience is if we... Everywhere. Everywhere. That's right, Ella. For example, we're having, you know, as we talked about earlier, you know, we had a, if you're having a devotionals, and we have to keep at it, as we we're talking about <laughs> perseverance. Keep at it and have patience, dear friends. Sometimes, you know, not everyone may attend. Have patience. Keep at it, have patience. And so, so like for example, if, if like for, you are having faith and 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 no, and, no, and and just one person puts money and 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 the fund keep at it like have some patience and, and, and keep having more faith and, and, and until and until those 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 a lot of of of, of money in, in the fund box. I love it. Yes, have patience too, dear friends. It, Patience is in all things, all matters. We have to control our animal self, the, the instinct within us. This is about control of the, our own self. So have patience. Con this is about refining our character so that we are better us, you know? So you are a better you. So in all situations, so we like, do... So like, Daddy, if, 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 I, if I go to like a movie, like for example, remember I went to a movie with, with Mommy, but, 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 but there was a long line? Mm -hmm. I, there was a long line there, also, but, but, but I was patient, and, and when I was patient, it, 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 it took so fast. That's right, when you're patient, it goes faster, right? So when we have patience, it's a way of controlling ourself. You know, this is, imagine, uh, and dear friends, this is so important, so important to read this, the history of the central figures. Read the history of the central figures. Our ex perfect exemplar, Abdul Baha. How did he live? How? Because he is our example. So the more we read and, and think about these virtues, that such as patience, are the virtues such as courage. And look in the lives of these central figures. How did Abdul Baha practice patience? Daddy, is God patient? Is God patient? 
God is beyond everything, baby. He is, he is absolutely perfect in every way. He, He's like perfect in, in like perseverance and like... Absolutely. And, and like courage and, and, and truthfulness and like... Yes. Perseverance. He's perfect. And Abdul Baha is also perfect. He, had, he, had, he manifested all the virtues. And, and, and even Christ and, and the Bob and everybody. Yes, baby, that's right. So this is our virtue of the week. Patience, dear friends. So I, we here at the Crimson Academy Junior encourage you, every one of our dear Crimsonites out there, to practice this virtue during this week. Try and also to read the, the history of these our central figures. How did they practice these virtues? How did they practice patience in their lives? In when his Abdul Baha was suffering in prison, incredible. And when Daddy, he was when he was in Akka and the. Did 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 have patience when he was in jail? Of course. To get out of that jail. Of course, incredible. You know this is uh, of course yes. It was horrible prisons. Yes, amazing amount of patience and how much they suffered. So, dear friends, read their lives again and again and again. And the more that you read, you see how much they exemplified and manifested these virtues. And that's how they were so transforming to the lives of everyone they touched, you know? Excellent. So, so, so everybody that got in Bahola and and all of those people touched it, they were kind to them? Sure, yes. And even people that were really unkind to them, they were changed and transformed by the love that Baha'u'llah, Abdul Baha, gave to them. So, so, so like for example, if, 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 if um, one of my friends were nice to me, then, uh, uh, and I was nice to that I could just be nice to them so that they can so that they can learn from me and I could be an example and then they'll be nice to me. Sure. That's a very good example. Excellent, Ella. Very proud of you. You're paying such a good attention. I love it. So dear friends, today we're going to have a special guest. Um, uh, our special guest uh, in a prior episode. Uh, talked to us on Baha'i Family. And in this episode, um, our special guest is again Dr. Bayat. He will be joining us. Um, if he would please come over and have a seat. Um, so here is Dr. Bayat, and he will be introducing his topic for this week. Welcome, Dr. Bayat. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you, Ella Jun, and thank you, Esanja. Excellent. For thank you very much. Me. And uh, to this week, um, Dr. Bayat uh, mentioned that he'll be speaking on the subject of fairness. That's great. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And, 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 before, and before we talk about fairness, I, I have an example of fairness. Like, like for example, if I have a, a big chocolate chip cookie and my sister Emma wa, 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 wants one, but there's only one, then the, 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 the I could tell the person and give some to Emma and then, give some, and, and then I can eat the rest of it. Very good. I love it. That's a great example, Ella. So, Dr. Bite, um, please... Uh, Talk to us on the subject of fairness. I think uh, Ella started it beautifully. Fairness is about sharing and caring for others, having whatever we have, making it available to others, <laughs> also being fair to others. I have, I have an example that that's not mm -hmm. fair. So, so, so like, so like, so like, if I have a t a, a toy and I want to share it with. I won't share it with my friends, then that's not being fair. That's right, Ella. You are quite right. So, I think you touched the heart of it, Ella. The heart of the subject of fairness is we always place ourselves in the place of others. For example, if you're playing with a group of your friends, yeah. always look at things from the way they see it and make sure that they would also see it nicely as something fair. 
Excellent. Uh, thank you, Dr. Bat. I, I brought a few quotes on the subject of fairness, so we can hone in on the subject. Okay. Yeah. This is um, the first one is from His Holiness Baha'u'llah. Okay. So let's. Uh, we will be reading this quote. This is from the gleanings from the writings of Baha'u'llah, page two hundred and seventy-eight. Baha'u'llah states, Be fair to yourselves and to others, that the evidences of justice may be revealed through your deeds among our faithful servants. Beware lest ye encroach upon the substance of your neighbor. Prove yourselves worthy of his trust and confidence in you, and withhold not from the poor the gifts which the grace of God hath bestowed upon you. He verily shall recompense the charitable and doubly repay them for what they have bestowed. And lastly, dear friends, so this is just to, as they say, get the mind thinking about this subject. So this is again from Baha'u'llah. This is from the Arabic Hidden Words, number two. Baha'u'llah states, says, O son of spirit, the best beloved of all things in my sight is justice. Turn not away therefrom if thou desirest me, and neglect it not that I may confide in thee. By its aid thou shalt see with thine own eyes, and not through the eyes of others and shalt know of thine own knowledge, and not through the knowledge of thy neighbor. Ponder this in thy heart, how it behooveth thee to be. Verily, justice is my gift to thee, and the sign of my loving kindness. Set it then before thine eyes. Baha'u'llah. Very good. So, if you think about society, first think of our family, okay? We will have a good family when everybody is treated well. The children, the adults, the adults are nice and fair to the children. The children are nice and fair to the adults. And then extended family, or the aunties and uncles and cousins and, and so on. And the world is just made up of that. Therefore, if at school, all the children are fair to each other. The teacher is fair to all the students. And then at workplace, if you treat all your workers and people that you work with, your co-workers, fairly, then you can have a nice workplace. One of the features of fairness is always asking the views of others. For example, when you're having a game with your friends, you ask them, are they feeling good? Is there anything they want you to do that you're not doing? Or what you're doing, is that fair to them? The same goes at school. You ask your classmates, are you feeling good today? Am I being nice today? And so on. And also, when you grow up later on in workplace, you always ask your fellow workers and ask their opinion. So consultation comes in. Mm. So, to be fair, you have to understand how others see things. And you only understand it if you ask questions. Okay? So, you should always feel free and be brave and ask questions. Ask questions if everything is going well. Okay? Excellent. And that's how fairness comes in. And if you are fair, then it means you are being just. And if everybody is fair and just, then you will have a nice place to live in, nice place to work in, and good friends. Mm. Very good. So, Ella, do you have any other examples or questions? Yeah, so for example, if, if um, nobody was fair to me, then, 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 then I could be an example for them and, and, and like be fair to them so, so, so then they can be fair to me. That's very good, yes. Exactly, Ella. So, in fairness, it's um, 
not just in the example of consultation, which is so important, it's also inclusive of cultures, yes. um, religions, and um, practices. Anyone is brought into the, uh, that aspect of uh, consultation so that everyone is treated fairly and justly. So if in the workplace you find one or two people uh, are not participating or people don't play with them, the best thing is to go and bring them in mm -hmm. and ask them to come and join you. So, so like if I have, a, so if I had a new kid in my class and I, 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 I she feels fire and I, I, I will play like a game together in school and, and, and she doesn't want to play that, that, that I could be fair to her and, and and like, I like help her and, and, and like hold her hand while, while, while playing the game. That's sure, that's, that's a very, very nice, excellent, exactly. good example. So, some people are shy, you see, at school for example, or in playgrounds. They're shy, and because they're shy, they don't come along and they don't play. So it's always good to be fair to them and help them to overcome their shyness and they come and mm. work with you and also in a bigger society fairness means the society should govern its affairs in such a way that we would never have very poor people they are helped to mm. do better living okay so justice is in everything not just in a classroom or a workplace but also in the world we have to make sure that everybody has enough to eat. So if you go to school one day and you find that one of your friends feels hungry, if you have something in your bag, instantly offer it. Okay? And uh, at workplace, if some people feel that some of their colleagues have financial problems, for example, or difficulties, they should contribute, collect money, for example, for them, and so on. So what Baha'u'llah wants? Baha'u'llah wants us to have a world that there will not be poor people in and people who have excesses of wealth and things they should contribute it voluntarily Interesting. for the betterment of everybody else. So Dr. Bright, um, you you're talking on the principle of the elimination of extremes, extremes of poverty and uh, extremes of wealth and um, this is uh, one of the principles um, of the Baha'i Faith. Could you elaborate on how practically this can be achieved in our world? Um, yes. Please. At varieties of levels, at an individual level, whatever excesses we have, we should voluntarily contribute it through charitable organizations mm. and uh, through whatever means available to us, to other people. And from a government point of view, through a progressive taxation, so those who have extremes of wealth, they pay a higher portion of the taxes, and then government would use those for educating those who don't have enough for the education, for example, of their children, by offering sponsorship for the children of those who cannot send their children so, to university, for so, example. So, like, so, like, if, if I see so, if I see like, 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 like some, like a, a kid that's poor and, and 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 can't go to school, that that that, that I could teach her. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. We. That's that's a good example. Yeah. Thank you, Ella. And in the neighborhood, if you're aware, your neighborhood some of your neighbors need things and you have extra ones, you go and give it to them. And also through volunteering work, okay? For example, if you have a friend who's not doing very well at school, you spend your time to go and help that, that friend to learn better to study, okay? Or to learn subjects that they haven't done well. So, this uh, principle of the Baha of the Baha'i faith should be practiced by individuals, both by, by groups, and also through um, charitable organizations. 
uh, as well as through governmental agencies. It's a positive way of helping those that need more help than others. Sure. So if there are those, for example, if you see a handicapped person, we always try to do more for that handicapped person than for others to make up for it. What's a handicapped person? Handicapped is a person, for example, who may not be able to see well, or may not be able to walk well because, for example, have problems with his or her legs, or a person that health-wise is not so good that can participate in activities, like sports, for example, okay? Therefore, we should go out of our way uh, at school, in our neighborhood, at workplace to help those. So anybody who have special needs, it could be varieties of things. We should always go out of our way. For example, if you go to any school or any shopping mall, you will see that there are some parking spaces marked with a handicapped sign, which means those who, for example, are on wheelchairs can park in those spots that are closer to, closer to the entrance of a school or closer to the entrance of the shopping center. So, as a society, we have to become one that takes special care of those who need more help. That's how fairness is achieved. Mm -hmm. Very good, Dr. Byte. Excellent. Well, dear friends, this is our episode of Crimson Academy Junior. Today we talked on the virtue of patience and the importance of patience and all of these virtues are about transformation of ourself to be ever closer to that example set by His Holiness Abdu'l-Baha. So how important it is, dear friends, to read the examples set by His Holiness Abdu'l-Baha. Read his life, read the history, and as you are reading, think about these virtues how did Abdul Baha practice this virtue? And so when you're reading it, you look for those examples in his life and then try to start working on yourself and start practicing those virtues. And today we had our special guest, Dr. Bayat, uh, talk to us on the principle of fairness and in the aspect of the eliminations of the extremes of poverty and wealth and how practically individually as we accumulate a lot of wealth how we can you know be a factor in the elimination of these extremes and helping society thank you very much dr Bayat, for joining us to, to crimson academy junior thank you for the invitation and uh next week dear friends crimson academy junior we will be in new york uh, and we will have a very special episode. It's, it, it will be Valentine's Day weekend. So uh, we, uh, Ella and I will be speaking on the subject of... Love. Love, that's right. <laughs> and this is the hallmark and the center of the entire creation. Of Ibn Baha'u'llah in one of his tablets, it says, The atoms themselves are held together by love. So this is such a beautiful principle. We'll be talking on this uh, subject of love. So dear friends, with uh, much love from all of us here at Crimson Academy Junior, send, signing out, one more, two, three. Thank you very much, dear friends, from Crimson Academy, Academy Junior! Junior.